See, I've had the, uh, and, and I'm, it is mad because it defies logic. It does, you've gained ball speed. Yeah. I mean, you should swing this slower. Yeah, that's what I was just gonna shorter. say. I was gonna say how we get more club head speed out the shorter shaft, it's weird, isn't it? I mean, it is regular flex, but it'll play to a bit of stiff because it's tipped an extra inch. Yeah. So the flex shouldn't really give you more speed. This is crazy, isn't it? Because we were at it. Right, Connor, I've got a challenge for you. Okay. I've got a dilemma at the moment by where, a bit like the previous video we just completed about sort of club head speed, um, launch being your friend, so to speak, but I want to move yeah. that concept into driver. I've traditionally always gone into most custom fits with the opinion that I kind of use a nine or a ten and a half degree head because that's what I've always used. So that'd be kind of the starting position. But I'm also very fond of the kind of mini driver concept, that okay. being shorter shaft. Can you build me out a driver, 460cc head, more loft, maybe a shorter shaft? You're nodding. We can, yeah, we can definitely. Yeah, yeah. And, and put my mind at rest. I want to know how it performs. I mean, I'm not expecting to hit it as long. I want to create a fairway finder. Yeah, tighten dispersion. Okay, we can give it a go. Definitely, plenty of options there. <laughs> so, good luck. Okay. I'm not saying this is going to work, but I would really like to see if it benefits me and potentially would benefit a lot of other average golfers out there. You know, Sunday best, I'm a 230, 235 carry. That's all I do. Okay. Probably, you know, realistically, I don't know, maybe less again. Right, so we started off with predominantly what I've used in the past, which was 10 side blue, uh, yeah. stiff shaft, was yeah. it 60 gram? Yeah, 65. 65, but we were 45 inches, so yeah. a little bit shorter. And we did okay, Yeah. but you're gonna switch up into something different. Yeah, so we're gonna go into a counterbalanced um, hazardous blue. Okay. So, Spin was quite high in the tenth side, and you were losing it right a lot. So mm. we want to get something that's going to start left, just to play with that gentle fade that you've got. Yeah. Um, and I think we could do it launch it a little bit higher as well. Okay. That's quite solid, right? You know? I love that. Nice. Yeah, I, I did that all day long. I take that all day long. <laughs> it's probably good to point out as well. So that previous one high toe which yeah it started left it's going to be in the left rough but yes. if you've got say 10 and a half degrees as opposed to 12 yes that's going to fly lower it's going to curve more because it's going to spin less so rather than being further. 150 yards out you're going to be 180 yards yeah, out, yeah. probably further left oh be <laughs> yeah <laughs> essentially yeah That's the big, that's the big thing, that's what I've done. That's the big, uh, that's that high tee again. That's fine though, isn't it? I mean, even if that's Crazy. spun up a bit, still 222 carry. We've just hit with a counterbalance shaft, which I, I don't know what was different in terms of the feel. It certainly felt very different. Yeah. I said it felt more stable, which was probably wrong. Um, yeah. But either way, I loved it. Yeah. And we got some decent numbers. And it, did it do what you intended in terms yeah, of Yeah, really good. So in the Tensor, we were losing some good drives, but losing a lot of it right. Okay. The ones that did kind of go on the attended target line, just slightly down the left, were launching at 12 degrees. In this new counterbalanced option, everything is starting left, left side and peeling back nicely. Yeah. And the launch on average is 14 and a half degrees yeah, as well. So you're launching it higher. Yeah. I'm just getting a right start line. So, well, so the, again, the perception could be that at times you launch the ball higher. Yeah. If that has a lot of spin, that can yeah. be counterproductive. Yeah. But in this case, as long as that spin number stays down, yeah. the combination is good. Is that correct? Perfect. Yeah, you want high launch, low spin is what you want. You don't want the spin too low, obviously, but no. as long as you're in the right shaft and getting the right, just getting the right numbers, then high launch can be your friend really more so than. So for me, if I come in for a custom fit right now, I'd be more than happy with both, both in terms of dispersion. So we're carrying 225, we've got two six spin, um, launching a 40 and a half. I buy the driver all day long, but you say there's one more thing that you might want to try, but it is very much, I say you try, I want to try. Yeah. I've 
insisted I try a shorter shaft and we're going to go into a three wood shaft. So where are we going to then? This is a three wood shaft. So three wood shaft, so that's coming out of 44 inches as opposed to 45. Okay. And we've moved to a 5.5, so regular flex shaft. Okay. Because fairway wood shafts are tipped a bit more so it'll play a lot stiffer. Okay. I mean, the, the interesting thing for me, I mean, and it, and it might be just a personal thing and I've been on about it, I've been on about it maybe for too long and I've bought into my own sort of waffle, is that it's just a control element. Before I actually hit a golf ball, I feel like I'm, you know, just more control close, closer to the ball. Yeah. I feel like I've already got more control, already got more confidence. And then, uh, yeah. Good start. Yeah, really good. Really good. I'm going to literally mess up all your numbers now with a three wood shaft <laughs> in a driver head. Because that first ball, if we can maintain that at least anyway, that first ball at a quick glance over, it's pretty much hit some decent uh, data parameters there across yeah, the board. Yeah, everything is yeah. solid. That's good. Nice. What is that? Is a 220 carry, 2300 spin. Launch. 12.2. Oh, I think it's yeah, too bad. Big 231. It's certainly, uh, yeah. It's powerful, was, isn't it? Yeah, and it well, felt out the middle, which is the interesting bit. Good ball speed. 98 club head speed. Right. So. I mean, you should swing this slower. Yeah, that's what I was just going to say. I'm just going to say how we get more club head speed out the shorter shaft. It's weird, isn't it? I mean, it is regular flex, but it'll play to a bit of stiff because it's tipped an extra inch. Yeah. So the flex shouldn't really give you more speed. This is crazy, isn't it? See, I've had the, and, and, and it's mad. it is mad because it defies logic. It does you gain ball speed? Yeah. Both straight the ball as well. The ball speed I get because of the centre. Yeah. Perhaps finding the centre more consistent. Probably an interesting one, yeah. That's crazy, isn't it? That's mad. Where's it going out? Yeah. Hitting it really well. It felt better than that. It's, a, it's been a thing where the, the initial video was supposed to be, like I said, about the shorter shaft with yeah. loft. Yeah. Because essentially to me, we've created a mini driver, but yeah. we've got a 460 head. Yeah. Because they're all coming out between 11 and 13 degrees, the mini drivers yeah. with a 300 cc head. So why not try it in a... It's like, why, why, why not just have more confidence in the head profile if that's your thing? Yeah. But I do like this idea of, and you're right, you know, from a confidence perspective, I feel like I'm... Got better control of the club head. Tidy, isn't it? Right, first of all, thanks for humouring me and uh, sticking the three wood shaft in. I know it's not necessarily the done thing, but um, like I said, just something playing on my mind for quite some time. But I think each of us are probably a little bit surprised as to yeah, some of the things it. that happened. Yeah. Really good. <laughs> it was really good. The performance was excellent. The control bit was really good. I think for me, the club head speed was maybe a bit of a surprise. Yeah, I'd have expected the club head speed to dip maybe two or three miles an hour. Yeah. But pretty much remains the same. It did, yeah. Game point two. Do you think that's a, just a confidence thing, maybe? Most likely the confidence of just being being close to the ball and yeah. just having more control of it, maybe. what you have in your hands. And then, to be, to be fair, in terms of uh, the sort of heat map on the club phase, it, it remained consistent, the strike, didn't it, with... Yeah. Struck ball's pretty much out of the middle. Yeah, it um, didn't, didn't differ. No. Oddly enough, we gained a little bit of ball speed. Yeah. Uh, with the three-wood shaft, and for those who are kind of interested in that, sort of 96 club head speed, uh, 140 ball speed, and I think it was 96, maybe 139, so it was very, yeah. very similar, wasn't yeah. it? Um, but again, I, was it safe to say all the other parameters were similar? Launching? Launch maybe one degree lower. We did, yeah, that's, right. Good that's point. the only, yeah. only difference.
which would give you fraction more ball speed, so they're pretty even really all around. And then the spin again was? Spin was 2.7. Yeah, okay. Um, which is where you want to be. So I think we'll leave it there. The lesson I've learned is certainly to be very much open-minded to, uh, well, in this case, something very, very different to try. You can only do these kind of things really in custom fit and with the uh, advice and guidance of, uh, of people like Connor. So, well done, bud. I really like what we ended up with. It might not be conventional, but it's certainly something that uh, I like the idea of. A bit more control, not giving up a great deal of distance, and all them other parameters hit the spot. So maybe you'll see that with, uh, I'll, it'll be out on the fairways very, very soon, and we'll see how we get on. Thanks as ever for watching. Don't forget, stick some comments down below. Let me know what you thought of this video, and I will see you all very soon.